Welcome students. Today we are going to study about zero order reactions. And in uh, this video, we will start with the rate law for zero order reaction. Then we'll see half life of a zero order reaction. We'll move to rate constant for zero order reaction. And in the end, we will see a simple example based on zero order reaction. So let's start our study about zero order reaction with rate law for zero order reaction. What does it say that rate of a zero order reaction is proportional to the zeroth power of the concentration of the reactants. Let's understand this with a hypothetical example in which reactant A is uh, reacting to form products. Okay, so being this reaction a zero order reaction, its rate must be directly proportional to zeroth power of the reactant as from the definition. Okay, I can eliminate this proportionality sign with a constant K which is yes rate constant for zero order reaction and this is the rate this quantity will be equal to 1 and this is the rate rate can be expressed in the form of change in concentration of reactant with time minus sign because this is a reactant and the concentration of reactant decreases with passage of time okay this will be equal to k or i can rearrange this equation to write it in this form in which da is equal to minus k d t this is the differentiated rate law for zero order reaction. Okay, if I integrate this side and also this side, this side over a period from A0 to A, that is initial concentration to the final concentration of A, and this is from 0 to T. What I get? Yes, I will get A minus A0 is equal to minus K T minus 0. Or I can rearrange this equation to write it in this form k is equal to yes a naught minus a divided by t this is the most famous form of integrated rate law for zero order reactions okay the next thing is half life of a zero order reaction we have just seen that this is a rate this is the uh, expression for integrated rate law for a hypothetical uh, reaction in which say reactant A is forming product P and this is a zero order reaction so this is the rate law expression of a rate law okay now for, uh, we have to study in this slide about rate half life of a zero order reaction now first of all what is half life half life of a zero order reaction or half life of any reaction is the time after which the concentration of reactant decreases to half of its initial value that means uh, if at half half life t is equal to t half which is half life of a reaction we will left with the if the final concentration of a will become half of the initial concentration of a at which if we substitute these value to the integrated rate law what we get that t or the k let's say k is equal to a naught and as a is equal to a naught by 2 and this will become t half or i can rearrange this equation to write it in this form t half is equal to a naught by 2 divided by yes k or a naught by 2 k so this is the expression for half life of a zero order reaction in which t half that is half life is equal to initial concentration of reactant divided by twice of rate constant this is the expression for half life of a zero order reaction next thing is rate constant for a zero order reaction we have just seen that what is the expression for k is equal, yeah this is equal to change in concentration of the reactant with time now what is the unit for change in concentration it is yes mole per liter and the unit of time is either per minute or per second or sorry minute or second in either case the unit for rate constant becomes 
मोल पर लीटर पर टाइम इफ इट इज टाइम इज इन मिनट इट विल बी मोल पर लीटर पर मिनट इफ द टाइम इज इन सेकेंड इट विल बी मोल पर लीटर पर सेकेंड ओके द नेक्स्ट थिंग विच यू विल डिस्कस इन दिस स्लाइड इज द एक्सप्रेशन और हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द रेट कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन एक्सपेरिमेंटली फॉर दिस लेट्स डू समथिंग we have to rearrange this equation so that we can compare it with the equation of straight line in which m y is equal to mx plus c okay so for this let's re rearrange this equation to write it in this form that is a not minus a is equal to k t or once again i can write it in this form minus a is equal to k t minus a not removing this minus sign i will left with a is equal to minus k t plus a not now this form of the integrated rate law is comparable with the equation of straight line if i plot a graph with the concentration of reactant on y axis and time on x axis i will get a straight line with a slope equal to minus k this is represented here and the intercept intercept will be yes the initial concentration a not or i have written here r not i can write it a not with this example so if i plot a graph between the concentration of reactant with time i will get a straight line with a negative slope equal to the rate constant so this is the way how we can uh, calculate the rate constant experimentally for zero order reaction now let's see a solved example a problem based on the rate zero order reaction okay what does this say that rate constant for a zero order reaction is this 2 into 10 ratio power minus 2 mole per liter per second if the concentration of the reactant after 25 second is 0.25 we have to calculate the initial concentration okay so what is given here it we have given with the rate constant which is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter per second next thing which we have given is time which is yes 25 second the next thing which we have given okay is the final concentration that is let's say a not it is 2.0.25 m so we have to calculate the initial concentration we have to calculate the initial concentration for this reaction using the well, the data given the first thing which we know is that k expression for rate constant for zero order reaction is yes k is equal to a not minus a divided by t we have given with the value of k which is 2 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter per second the next thing which we have given initial concentration we have to find out final concentration we have given 0.25 mole a molarity mole per liter and the time is 25 second if i multiply this side it will become 50 into 10 power minus 2 and we will be left with a not minus 0.25 i can rearrange this to write it in this form a not is equal to 50 into 10 power minus 2 Plus zero point two five. I can again write this this form this term in this form. That is, let's say, uh, mm, let's write it in fifty into ten power minus two plus twenty five into ten power minus two, and we will left with seventy five into ten power minus two. Or 0.75 m this is the initial concentration so the initial concentration is once again right 0.75 m 
So this was a very simple solved example based on zero order reaction. I hope all the things are clear to you. Uh, let me finish with this. Thank you.